There we are at Imperial Outpost on this Veterans Day. I'm going to be playing John. We're going to be playing 2,000 points. What are you bringing? Space Wolves. Space Wolves. What do we got? Uh, we've got two squads of Terminators. Two squads of Terminators. Uh, assault cannons, lightning claws, uh, two leaders with storm bolters, and uh, actually they're all wolf claws. Uh, with storm bolters and wolf claws, uh, and in each squad is also two guys with frost swords and storm bolters. Okay. Actually, this lightning claw out here is supposed to be a frost sword. I'll change that. Uh, we'll we'll since, survive. As soon as one of them dies. We'll survive. I've uh, got two squads of uh, thunder wolves this time. Two squads of thunder wolves. All right. Let's see if they don't run off the field this time. Uh, hopefully less than one. <laughs> uh, this is actually a, a, a frost sword, not a frost, frost sword. axe. Okay. I got an iron priest, which is actually part of uh, a formation. These guys are part of a formation. Yell storm caller, a rune priest, uh, iron priest, and uh, Yorick the Slayer. Mm -hmm. uh, they give me all sorts of cool bonuses. I'm also bringing uh, Bjorn. Okay. Uh, Land Raider, Crusader. Put one of my squad's Terminators in. And a whirlwind. And a whirlwind. Okay, I am bringing. I'm cheating. I'm bringing extras earlier. Uh, spore pods are coming out this week, uh, so I busted out my old models. I got three spore pods. I'm going to upgrade them to the uh, large template. Uh, I got a squad of ten devil gaunts, twenty devil gaunts, twenty devil gaunts, thirty regular gaunts with no upgrades. I've got a uh, Hydro Fex Hydro guy, that's what he looks like. A Turvagon with crushing claws. Two flying um, flying hive tyrants. Uh, not with the two guns, it's a bone sword, lash whip, and then the one uh, gun each. They're both exactly the same. And two Molochs. And we will be rolling off to see our what we're playing and stuff so we'll get back to you at the before turn one starts okay john was able to win the roll but chose to let me deploy first um, because he has a formation that lets him steal on a three plus well, so this the formation lets me steals on a four plus and uh he gives me the one. oh he gives it so he can steal on a three plus we went ahead and placed one here one over there one here, there, away in my deployment, and then over here. Looks like it's going to be a fight for the center of the battlefield. I've got my two Molochs in reserve and all my Devils coming in on pods. Got my, my Baby Maker, Turvagon, uh, my Close Combat, Flying Hive Tyrant, 30 Gaunts, Flying Hive Tyrant. Let's see if you steal. Oh, wait, wait, let's go. All right, go ahead, go ahead, because uh, I didn't say show where you deployed. Uh, yep. Steals on a four. Okay. And he chose to put his dogs over here. And then you got the walker. And you got the guy hiding in the back. Land Raider with one set of the Terminators in it. The other set's in reserves. They're inside? They're the ones inside. Oh, they're the ones inside. There's the other Terminators. And then there's the other set of dogs. <laughs> we'll get to you at the turn one. Okay, bottom of one. Gaunt's moved up. He moved up, shot at these guys, killed one, uh, went ahead and charged. And this guy whiffed, didn't do, he did one wound, he was able to save it. These guys did one wound, he was able to save it. Fearless, locked in combat. Uh, this guy uh, went ahead and tried to pin, I pinned those guys first. But then I charged him. He did the psychic trick this way, did a couple wounds, had babies, babied out with just uh, seven, I think. And I did not score any points that turn. Okay, top of one, end of everything actually, because we didn't do too much. Wolves came up and ran up to here. Uh, this guy, uh, the walker. What's his name? Bjorn. Bjorn did a pop shot, did one wound against the Hyrospec. The Land Raider moved up and then flatted out. 
the dogs moved up and then are holding objective four and then the terminators moved up so and the whirlwind and the whirlwind killed the mighty jugants that's right <laughs> okay top of two he moved up tried to charge didn't make it uh gaunts made it in he's in here i was able to kill one base he killed himself off with acid blood um and then uh they're still sticking around he killed some gaunts i'm down to two wounds on him terminators came up jumped out killed my turvagon these guys and actually those guys shot my gaunts out from underneath them as well so hopefully i have a better turn and we go on you scored two points because you hold held that I scored two points because I'm holding that. Uh, was this guy a psyker? Yes. Yes. I killed. Uh, I scored victory points for that. Uh huh. And uh, I'm holding this objective. All right, I'm I'm getting my butt handed to me. So hopefully my reserves come in and we can kill some people. Okay, bottom of two. My Molochs decided to stay out. Spore pod over there. Spore pod here, spore pod here. Um, flying hive tyrant, that one landed, is over there. This one flew up, shot at the rear of that, was able to do two hole points. Um, he did three more, Gaunts died, and I finished off the base with this one. This spore pod shot temp five templates right here, did nothing. This spore pod did five templates kind of off this way for line of sight didn't do anything um that's spore pod did i shoot they went did he shot that way didn't he or did i forget about him either way i think you forgot um gaunts into the terminators gaunts into the terminators were able to finish him off into the terminators yeah he went into the terminators too so that wasn't too bad these guys shot into here and did two Two, I think, yeah. So, an okay turn for me. I needed my Molochs to come in. Um, I'm going to get ready for some things killing me. Okay, top of three. This guy and these uh, Termagants finally finished off the rest of that cavalry. Moved up here. Uh, the, I can always never remember, B Bjorn charged in, did one wound. I did a smash back. Wasn't able to do anything. Uh, went ahead and charged in with this, and he actually shot him up pretty bad before he came in. Um, they're sticking around. Uh, these guys went ahead and charged into the spore. We're sticking around as well. Hoping on uh, doing some killing the next turn. <laughs> okay, because the Molochs didn't come. Bottom of three, one Moloch was tried to come here, mishapped. He ended up being placed over there. The other Moloch moved back here and it's kicking back, ready to get killed. They're killing me off more here. Uh, these guys kind of moved. He went in and helped out the Hive Tyrant, but he was able to kill it off before I was able to kill his walker. So, and then these guys killed three and I did nothing. So, and he did two more wounds on my Spore Pod. So we are moving on. Okay, well, top of three. Was able to finish off the spore pod. We took one Terminator out here. Top of top of four. Uh oh. Charged in here. Did zero wins against my Moloch, but I was able to do two back. Finished off my spore pod over there. Consolidated in, and moving on to the bottom of four. I'm at three, three points, and you're now at nine, eight. Eight. So <laughs> we will go on, and hopefully, I can get some good points. Top of five? No, four. Five. Five. Top of five. Um, finally finished off his guy. Moved this way. Um, he did too many wounds. Yeah. Killed my hive tyrant. Lost synapse. Those guys are running away. These guys are kicking back and going on to the bottom of five. Hopefully I can do some damage. Okay, bottom of five. Ten. Charged in. 
tried to do well. Moloch mishapped again, got screwed. So I'm going to go ahead and concede. He's got 10 vic. John's got 10, nine victory point, 10 with Linebreaker because he would have gotten it. And I've got the measly three. So uh, he rolled very well and did very well, and I just didn't put poison on my weapons, and I should have put poison. These wounding on sixes was killing me. You guys have a great night.